Thank you for indulging with us in our time. And so now I want to declare our graduation uh, day uh, to begin. And we would like to be led by the children as they start. The team behind the, the boys and girls in black and white are children from the Kasuku campus. And they, are the, they form the school band. And they're going to be here with us today. So let's appreciate them with a round of applause. Stand up for the national anthem.
Yes, my name is Miss Jenny, and I'm very delighted to stand in front of you to welcome you to our very first Karen graduation ceremony. Yay! <laughs> yes, we are super, super happy and excited to host you parents. Uh, we've had a nice run with your children. They are amazing, and we're so proud of them. Aren't we proud of you? We're proud of you. <laughs> yes, we are super, super proud of you. I know the graduating class is not here, but we're very, very proud of them. And we, are, we thank you, parents, for entrusting them to us. We are privileged to be custodians during the day and then hand them back to you in the afternoon. Um, but um, they've been doing really well. And we're so glad that uh, you've walked the journey with us. We are committed to... Uh, continue walking with you as parents. We are committed to providing childcare and education to your children. And um, even today, as they transition um, into primary, we are we are confident that they are going to do well in the other in the subsequent classes. Are you confident, parents? You don't sound confident. Are you confident? Yes, and so um, I would like for you to sit back, enjoy the ceremony. Let's give a round of applause to our Kasuku campus uh, band as they leave. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Lisa. How are you today? Good morning. Thank you, and how are you? I'm fine, thank you. We're going to So the question which I have is, um, what football team do you support in the Premier League? 
well, I'm not a football fan. <laughs> so I think I might end up lying. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll just mention, maybe I'll say Arsenal. Thank you for standing with us. <laughs> One last paper, who has it? My name is Nancy Kanyago, I'm Watu's mom. My question is, if you could only eat one food your whole life, what would it be? Um, I think it would be pineapple. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the last thing God created and you know, he put his best into it, you know. <laughs> Graduating class, you may now come in. Let's appreciate them as they come. Yes, look at how lovely they look. Huh? Wow, you people look lovely. I hope you're smiling under your mask. <laughs> ones and they are ready to present to you a song called I'm ready to go
children. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And how are you? I am good. We want to thank you for our teachers. Dear teacher, from the tips of our fingers to the middle of our hearts, we want to thank you for our kindergarten start. You taught us to learn and play. You taught us to add and take away. No matter the years or soon shall pass, we will never forget our kindergarten class. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you, Wavi. Well done. Now you can move to the side so that Jeremy can say something. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I am fine. We want to thank I wa we want to thank you to our friends. Dear friends, it's time to say goodbye to kindergarten. We've all made good, me good memories all together and watch each other learn and grow. So it's with happy memories we all go out the door ready for grade one. I'm grateful for our kindergarten years. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Well done. And Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I am fine. I could want to say thank you to our parents. Dear parents, thank you for bringing us to kindergarten school. We have learned a lot of independent skills like communication. Dressing up and socializing. Thank you. Thank you for the patience when you did not want to come to school or to even finish homework. We have now grown. Learning is fun. We can now read, write, and follow instructions. We are now ready for grade one. Thank you. Well done, Valedictorians. You may now walk down. And so now I would like to invite our guest of honor. Our guest of honor is Yolanda Chakava. She's a children's author. And she's authored some books that are outside on sale. I'd like her to come up and say something about her, her gifting. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Gosh, I'm, I'm almost wishing I'm part of this graduation class. Reading is fun. <laughs> Um, it's such an honor for me to be here. Thank you. My name is Yolanda Chakava, um, and I'm here because I wrote a book called Super Lisu. Um, it's a book about Kendi, and uh, she's a superhero born in Nairobi, Kenya. And I just wanted to say a little bit about why I wrote this book, um, and what inspired me, and just being here today makes it all come to life. Um, I, when I was young, I loved reading. I loved reading, and I grew up in a publishing family. I was surrounded by books, and my dad was somebody who celebrated African literature and African stories. And I look today, and I, you know, I think one of the greatest gifts my parents gave me was a really good education. So well done, parents. You know, I, I went and I studied civil and environmental engineering at a time when there were very few women doing engineering, even fewer black women doing engineering but I was there. And I realized throughout my whole professional and personal life, diversity in stories, hearing more voices, has something that I've become really, really passionate about. I still work in infrastructure and, in, and um, international development, and I just, I just had this story about a few years ago, how wouldn't it be really cool if we had a superhero from Kenya? I had a session with the kids in the morning, and they told me all superheroes come from America, Los Angeles, and California, <laughs> in particular, to be precise, you know? And I said, why not? Why can't they come from here? All the books they told me they were reading, all the books they said they were reading, none of them had an African or Kenyan author. And I thought, we need to do something about this. I, all, I read to my kids every night. I have two small children. I can't wait to see them graduating because they're not quite here yet. But, you know, moments like this, I read to them every night. And that reading to them and the stories I started reading to them just pushed this idea of 
why am I thinking this? I can do something about it. I can write a book. So I just decided to do something about it. I wanted my children to grow up reading fun, modern stories, stories that bring concepts of heroes, courage, bravery, in a context they live in, in a context that they can understand, and in a context that they can relate to. Why not? Why can't we have her heroes in Kenya? And we look at what's happening around the world, and I feel so strongly we need to start writing our own stories, telling our own stories, and encouraging um, our kids on this journey. So I wrote the book. It's been a labor of love and passion, and I'm very excited about it. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's out on sale out front. It's 750 shillings, but I'm just really thankful to have all your support and thankful for inviting me here. So thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I'm Baba Vicky and Baba Joe. And uh, anybody who knows Cherry, Cherry. Yeah, Cherry has become the mayor of the schools. <laughs> yes, I am a member of the PTA. Uh, I represent the primary section. And today, first of all, I would like to congratulate the graduating class and welcome you uh, to the primary section. And I can see you are full of energy. And uh, yes, carry on the same energy in the primary section. May God bless you. May God uh, see you through the primary section. And uh, may you be people who will make a difference uh, to our society. Um, as part of the PTA, uh, we are looking at the welfare of both the parents and the teachers, and we are doing this to ensure that we can also make our own contributions to making Kyoto the best for all of us. And uh, I encourage each and every of us uh, to participate uh, in this. I know amongst us we have professionals, uh, we have people from all walks of life, we have probably teachers, we have uh, scientists amongst us, um, we have uh, firefighters, for example. I mean, there are, there's a diversity of ideas uh, amongst uh, all of us. Now, if you see anything that could be improved, please reach out to the school, reach out to the PTA representatives, I'm one of them. We'll listen to you, we'll work together, we'll collaborate just to ensure that we are creating the best environment uh, here for all of us and also for our children. And if it is not for the children that are here, we would not be probably interacting uh, as much. So let us also take this opportunity, uh, the advantage that we have our children here, to interact and get to know each other and lift each other up. Those many remarks, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Baba Vicky. Good morning, everyone. Morning, boys and girls. I thank you. Uh, congratulations to all the graduates. Mm, I have older kids, and uh, what I learned is to give your child the best kindergarten you can. Then they'll be okay the rest of the way. And uh, uh, my daughter, the siblings are much older than her, difference of seven years. So we've been looking for a school. So we came for the open day. Since I have older kids, you know what to look for in a school. Uh, it was still work in progress, but we had faith. And then COVID came. But when we came back, the school was totally different. And I've seen my daughter grow. And I think I share the same sentiments with most parents. They've made friends. Um, she's grown in a good way, which I really like. And uh, what I want to say is thank you to all the teachers, 
Isidwell, Miss June, Miss Mary, Miss Magdalene, and so many others that maybe I have not met uh, on a personal basis, but uh, I've heard stories about them. Um, what I'd like to encourage us is, Kyoto uh, is a good school. And um, us personally, I think we'll continue with this journey. And uh, thank you for everything. May God bless you. How are you today? Fine. My name is Samara and in front of you, the great twos are here. We are, we are presenting a song. <laughs> now come down. So that's a reminder to us even as we're getting into uh, election season, let us remember to be united as Kenyans. Hey everyone. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And how are you? 
I'm fine. My name is Nathan Kalia and grade ones have a, a poem. Welcome. Guest of honor, Miss Yolanda, our able directors, teachers, parents, and guests for today, the graduates. Good morning. It is with great pleasure and thanksgiving to God Almighty that I invite you to this remarkable day in, the, in our calendar, the 2022 Intermediate Graduation Ceremony. I am Talisa Tasha, current president of Kyoto Karen. come with an awesome privilege to deliver this speech on behalf of our leaders and my fellow learners. Today, as we all know, is an important day for the intermediate class who are graduating from kindergarten to primary school. Don't they look fantastic? I think they deserve a round of applause. Thank you. As it is said, we worry about what the child would become tomorrow, yet we forget that he is someone today. As parents and teachers, it is your collective responsibility to guide and mold the learners seated here today for a better tomorrow. For you, the graduates, we recognize that the transition to primary is a big one. Please know that we are here to help you and guide you through this exciting time. Thank you so much for trusting Kyoto School to provide the best education. Hongera, na karibuni to Kyoto Primary School. Thank you.
Well thank done, you. children. Thank you. And thank you for appreciating everyone. And even as we are winding up, I would like to show you. I would like to show you two children who are fully dressed in school uniform. And this is what we expect that in April when they come back, they will be wearing. So kindly come up, children. I'm sorry. Well done. So this is how the boys' uniform looks like. Khaki pants, black leather shoes. They wear beige socks, a white shirt. They have the tie and the sweater. On Fridays, we ask that they wear, and during school occasions, that they wear the school blazer together with the school shirt. And for the girls, if it's cold and you would like them to be in stocking, kindly ensure that the stockings are white, just like uh, our president. Then we have this tunic and a white blouse a maroon tie, and she also has a sweater just like the boys. The sweaters are the same for both boys and girls. And then the blazers for special occasions and on Fridays whenever we are having assembly. So kindly, thank you children, you may now go to class. So kindly when you're doing the purchase of the uniform from Animet at Galeria or Yaya Center, ensure that we have that kind of uniform. For the girls, please desist from giving them black stockings because that's not part of our uniform. White stockings are allowed. Hair should be nicely done and neat away from the face for the girls so that they can be able to look at their books well and be able to, to do their work peacefully. We are also sharing with you the book list for the grade one books that are required to be bought. Kindly come on PT, uh, for PTCs on Friday. We will give you the hard copy uh, book lists on Friday the copy of the uniform guide and where you can get it on Friday during PTCs. Good morning, everyone. Very good. You can hear the way they answer so fast and so well. Thank you, intermediate class. Are you looking forward to grade one? I can see it on your faces and that is so encouraging. So I'm going to take this time to thank the parents. Thank you so, so much. It is because of you that we are having the event, because you brought the young ones to us. So God bless you so, so much. We also thank the directors, because they have made this place very conducive for the young ones to be here, to learn, to have the teachers around. So God bless you so, so much, our directors. And we also thank the guest of honor. Thank you so much. She had a chance to read a story with a primary school, and they were so excited. They were asking so many questions until we were like, wow, that is so good. So God bless you for making our event a success. God bless you. We'd also want to thank Ms. Jenny, the head of school. She's behind there. Maybe she could wave. <laughs> thank you so much for being there for the moral support. God bless you so much. And our mom. You know when we are here, Miss June... <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, she's the head of uh, this institution, and more so we look up to her as our mom. So God bless you, Miss June, for everything. God bless you so much. And the teachers, teachers who are around, some of them are with the children. God bless you. It is because of the teachers that we have also the young ones. The parents brought them. Then now the teachers received them and have taught them until they are able to graduate to go to the primary school. So teachers... May God bless you so, so much. We also have the, I don't know how I'd call the team that was providing the music, everything. Is it the DJ? Uh, okay, don't have the right one. So God bless you behind there. You've done a good, good job. We are grateful because of you. Then we have Miss Angie. <laughs> Miss Angie has been doing the communications. She was here when we were doing the like rehearsals. So God bless you for the good work. Yes, we appreciate. And uh, not the last one, but above all, we thank God because God has blessed us. That is why we are here. We thank God. God has blessed the parents to have the children, and the children have come to Kyoto School. Isn't that wonderful? Let us bless God by giving him a clap. Thank you so, so much. I was about to forget. Every time when we come here at break, at lunchtime, what do we take, boys and girls? 
at break time. Yes, Jeremy? Maze. Oh, Jeremy can remember we have maize. That seems that we take healthy. Uh, tea. Mm, Somebody is remembering tea. And on Friday lunchtime. Yogurt. Yogurt. Friday lunchtime. Who is not remembering what we take? Let, let, let me listen to Tessia then. Chips. Mm -hmm. Chips. Very good. So, because of the chef, together with his team, we are able to get our meals. So, even the kitchen team, God bless you so much, because we are able to have our meals because of them. And we also have the other department managed by Miss Angie, the people who clean our compound, our classes, the washrooms. Uh, you can pass our regards to them. We are very grateful because they make this place. Isn't it clean? Yes, it is. Yes, that is why... We are able to be in a conducive place because they do the work that they are doing. So God bless you, all of you. And even as you stay with the children over the holiday, God bless you so much. Thank you.